All right, well, it's the twilight hour, Tuesday, and um, I started the day, well, the birds, the woodpecker, and, uh, you know, the trees, uh, the, the wood chips and the bark sprinkling on my tent this morning, and God, that was like sublime to me, almost ecstatic to to have such simple little pleasures. I'm sleeping underneath an oak tree and the woodpecker doing its thing in the morning and starting my day with that. Um was very hopeful, you know, enthused for the day and just considering like some of the windows that are starting to open up for me. Um, and I slowly took care of my, you know, my little um, organizing, the tent and clearing things out. Uh, but then as the day progressed, and I was enjoying my solitude in a big way, it was pretty quiet here in the morning. It was like most everybody left. Uh, apparently there was some kind of meeting or organizing for the folks here. And so it was like quiet, really quiet, and I loved it. Uh, but then around noon, you know, they returned, and and uh, the dogs, and everything, and then I just felt this intense weight on that. Well, that it's it was like an energy weight, particularly on my chest. And I really couldn't move. I was a bit, um, I just couldn't move. I don't know if you'd call it a depression or not. It was, or a lethargy or a fatigue. And it wasn't even that. It was just like, it was almost like a force field that just held me in a suspended state. And uh, so I just surrendered to it. Um, and let well, okay let the gravity of some of the things happening within me and within the world uh, come into my awareness and reading some things uh, about what's been going on in Palestine for a long time. It is an apartheid. It is an occupation. Um, and the Zionists and the Hamas are not the Jewish and Palestinian people. These are a bunch of terrorists, actually. Again, the gravity of the situation just hit hit me today, and, um, and the bombing of hospitals and schools, and just the horrors of this. And then also seeing what's starting to unfold here in the states. I, I say that you know, and I've always considered myself. I've never considered myself homeless. I've always felt most at home outside, and what um, Madonna Thunderhawk was talking about, I have such a connection with the earth that not having a house is not that important to me. Um, and ironically, I feel most grounded 
but again, I'm not prepared for the winter, so I don't know how that's going to unfold. But, but in the meantime, um, but still, like here in the United States, uh, about a month ago or so, uh, they passed a resolution and a bill through Congress um, giving municipalities the right to just raise um, homeless encampments or, again, what I prefer to call it, um, refugee camps here in the United States. And um, and now with that passed, the city here is starting to put pressure on um, the people who are living in tents here. And so changes are happening. And especially now what they're trying to do is clear the people out of tents and get them into shelters, not homes, shelters. And then they can make a ton of money um, on putting in. And their, their shelters are just hellish, hellish places. So anyway, um, but we have to look at what's being set up here. Doesn't mean it's going to manifest, but how things are being set up and um, kind of concentration camps uh, type of stuff that's going to be happening here and they're setting setting it up already so um but just recognizing that that these are the things that are are unfolding here and seeing this unfold um and this is nothing new i mean i've been watching this for 15 years how it's been piece by piece by piece. Uh, they're putting this in place. Uh, the corporatists, the uh, corporatocracy. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Oh well. Um, so, but I wanted to give voice to this for myself and just sitting with the paradox of this happening and looking at my perception of what's right and wrong and then also my um, relationship with the Creator and particularly through the non-dualistic um, understanding uh, of it's all God's play. Everything is God. The ugliest and the evil, and the most painful, as well as the most beautiful. And this is all God's plan. Um, it's hard to grok. It's hard to, to resolve that. But I'm beginning to see little pieces of that. Um, in my perception, in my metaphor, morphosis of, of um, my consciousness expansion, my emotional state as well. So um, I just wanted to say that, again, of really just sitting with paradox and um, not ignoring the pain and certainly having compassion for it um, but yet at the same time accepting the destiny that was created for me by God and allowing everybody else to experience their destiny that's created for them by God. God is a grand creator I guess. I can't argue with the divine design. 
that's not to condone or deny the horrors of the things that are happening and yet to happen here on this planet and with humanity. But anyway, I, I just wanted to to share that because it's so interesting how how the day unfolded and how I wanted to get out and um, be active, do things and everything, but it wasn't time. And then when the folks came back this afternoon, oh my God, the dog fights that went on today between the dogs and several of the dogs, because most of the time people hold on, they keep their dogs leashed and the dogs don't get out. Um, but today it was just like oh, they were they were out running around and it was pretty um, it was just best you know, I mean, it's what I did I just cocooned myself I fed the birds um, the sunflower seeds that I had and the different bird seed that I I had been holding on to, so I was just throwing it out the tent door and just watching the birds come, and then they take off when somebody, when one of the dogs would come by or something. So, it was the day of me and the birds and the oak tree. And God. And God's plan. And the earth. And, um, uh, Wow, it is intense, no doubt about it. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. It's part of like my my journal and my uh, of today's of today's unfoldment in the grand scheme of things, in the miracle of life for all of us even within the pain and the fear. It's still a miracle, and even the pain and the fear is a gift from God. So, Satna Vahiguru and Chimagwetch.